Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Got some rumors, strong rumor that's coming in. Uh, stay tuned. Talk about it in a second. Goodfellas Sports TV. We back in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time we grind it. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfella one box and get you 18% off their all-natural products, lotions, soaps, deodorant, toothpaste, bath bombs, and much, much more. A website and promo code in the description. And Gennady Golovkin is not expected to come back to the ring until he faces Canelo Alvarez in a trilogy. September 15th is the targeted day, Mexico City, Azteca Stadium. I think that's what it where, uh, is going to take place. That I talked about that a couple months ago. Excuse me, my voice still hurting a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's what I talked about a couple weeks ago, excuse me, or last month, that, you know, Canelo and Triple G Trilogy was already pretty much signed, sealed, and delivered. Um, and, you know, that's when Triple G coming back. So Triple G won't take no tune-ups. Um, Triple G going to jump right back in there with Canelo Alvarez, okay? Um, so, you know, it is what it is. You can't be mad at him. Um, he trying to get that bag. And if Danny Jacobs getting 15, I know Golovkin said, shit, I could retire at least off of 20 million. We know people could t- comparing Golovkin to, uh, they're comparing Golovkin to Marvin Hagler and Marvin Hagler never moved, uh, for up from uh, middleweight. And they saying the same thing about, you know, Golovkin, you know, he might have that same type of, uh, legacy staying at middleweight the whole time. And I ain't, I ain't mad at him. Do what you're going to feel. At the end of the day, in my opinion, he ain't a Hall of Famer in my Hall of Fame. You know, I just, I don't see him being Triple G. I don't see him being Canelo. But he going to Mexico City just mean the bag going to be that much better. Um, the zone is really, you know, putting a uh, mash in the pedal on Canelo Alvarez to fight the best and on take on the best. So, at the end of the day, I ain't mad at him, man. Get y'all, get the money. If Jacobs is, if it's true that Jacobs is reportedly making $15 million then, you know, you you can't knock these dudes, man. Go sell your belt to Canelo Alvarez and boost this fake legacy up there the way they can be. And like I said before, if you already know this 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 deal is already on the handshake agreement, then you know Danny Jacobs has zero chance on um, beating Canelo Alvarez unless he gets a knockout. And he ain't selling a knockout, and he ain't publicizing a knockout, you know. You would think he'll be on here on his Mr. T shit, you know, talking about I'm a knockout cinema because that's the only way I can win. And, you know, what I've been told is only people that won't sell they self or sell their potential belt or, you know, sell their status is uh, Billy Joe Saunders and Jamal Charlo. All right. Those are the only two from what I understand. So, you know, at the same time, you know, we already know what time it is. This just gives more validity what I've been saying about uh, about uh, Danny Jacobs. Like I said, most people we think it's the best fight made in the first half of the year. That's from January to June, I believe. And yes, we can talk. That's the best fight on paper. But in actuality, when you look at the ramifications with a Triple G fight on the line, that just gives more validity. Once again, what I said that Danny Jacobs is not going to win. He's going to get robbed. And people say, well, Danny Jacobs was a snack. You know, you you black channels, you other channels only get on the Latino fighters um, for being with snack. Oh, no. You know, you don't you remember that Willie Monroe was the first fighter with a fighter that really got the snack train back you know, back running again. A lot of people forgot. Mikey had been fucking with Snack for quite some time. But Willie Monroe got popped. And I believe Andre Bertos was with Snack when he got popped. Okay? Two black fighters got popped under Snack. Okay? So we ain't forget Willie Monroe really started the, uh, started the train back up again about people criticizing Snack. And then a week or two after that, Mikey said he was going to exclusively be working doing strip of conditioning with Victor Conti. You know? So... You know what I'm saying? So that that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? People, you know, people now, you know, people just want to neat pick and they just want to hear what they want to hear. And, oh, you only picking on that? No, I talked about Bird. I talked about Willie Monroe. I talked about J-Rock. I talked about Devin Haney. I talked about Dan, Danny Jacobs coming off of uh, cancer and having the best uh, body of his life and the best, you know, physical condition he look in. We talked about all of that. We keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you got selective hearing or selective memory, hey, that's on you. You know, if you listen to most of my videos, you don't. You know, you just came in and listened to my videos. I have talked about it every time. Uh, I like Mario Barrios, but, you know, at the same time, he was snack. I like Devin Haney. I said the same thing about him. You know what I'm saying? You looked at Josito Lopez last night. People starting to notice, and a lot of people don't know the history on, on snack, though. A lot of these people don't know the history about snack. I do. You know what I'm saying? Town business, Cali Enigma, they live in the town 
in, in the town. That's what they call it, Oakland, the town where all that shit went down with Tyrone Weekly, who who was the hero out in Inkster, Michigan, where I got a lot of roots and I grew up at a lot a lot of my childhood. I grew out there. You know, he he got Tyrone Weekly knocked. He got a lot of different guys not, you know, that played for the A's, that played for the Raiders, and he snitched. He did four months in jail. It was the quiet four months that that we could talk about, but the snack thing, go, it go deep. I could do a whole video and probably put on a Patreon because YouTube going to not let me be on there, so check out my Patreon. That video may be coming. It may be a collab with Cali in town, and we could talk, just chop it up about Victor Conti, but, but yeah, we talk about it. You never know. Victor Conti could be supplying Canelo. Canelo could be silent, silently with Victor Conti. You never know. So in that aspect, yeah, you can call it a watch, but Danny Jacobs never tests positive for nothing. Canelo has, and it's been said that Canelo's been taking shit for a long time to make the 154 pound and 155 pound limit. You know? But like I said before, Danny Jacobs got no chance. That's what he got. <laughs> no chance, whatever, man. In my Vince McMahon voice, man. So I'm telling you, man, people say, oh, you hating this a good fight. Yeah, it appears to be a good fight on paper. But if you know what's at stake, you know they're not going to let Danny Jacobs win a decision. Danny Jacobs has been public about that as well. You know, if he really thought he was going to beat Canelo, um, he would be publicizing the knockout. But I think Canelo legitimately beats Danny Jacobs. But the thing about it is it's a cloud over the head. Now that this Golovkin fight is pretty much done from what I'm hearing, um, it's going to give validity more people to say, oh, Danny Jacobs got robbed even if Canelo win a good fight. But that's Canelo's own doing. From all the close fights, he said every major fight he had, he's never won with conviction. He never won clearly. He's never he never dominated a big marquee fight. But he's always get the benefit of the doubt because he's Mexican, because he's the pool. So somebody had to go in there and knock Canelo out. And Danny Jacobs, you got all the physical tools to do it. But guess what? Danny Jacobs already been knocked out and dropped. And that that fear is already built into his his mindset that it could happen any given time so he don't sell out for the knockout. He don't. Versus Peter Quillen, he went for it. Good for him, but Peter Quillen was inactive. You know, he needs to have that same mentality coming up to Canelo Alvarez, but you know, do it, you know, do it with caution, aggression, aggressiveness, and, and try to knock out Canelo Alvarez that same way. And will Triple G fight him if he knock out Canelo Alvarez? I believe Triple G won't fight Danny Jacobs again. But that's his own put up a ton of money. And Triple G gonna have to get A side money. You know what I'm saying? It could happen. Triple G could take on Danny Jacobs, he knock out Golovkin. Or Dan, you know, Danny Jacobs said to make at least four, you know, four million. His last two fights in the deal with the zone is a three fight deal. You know, but like I said before, this just tells you once again, uh, Danny Jacobs got to get a knockout. He's not publicizing a knockout. He said, I might, I have to get a knockout to get a draw. That's the only time he talked about a knockout. He's not sitting here and saying, I'm going to get the knockout. 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 I got to knock this guy out. And we training for the knockout. He's not said that not one time that I heard. And I hear a lot of interviews and I read a lot of, a lot of articles. He don't seem like a confident man. That just leads me to believe he's selling his belt and Triple G and, and Canelo 3 is on the way. So that's why Triple G is not going to take the quote-unquote uh, a rumor offer from Al Heyman of, of $10 million to tune up and then fight Jamal Charlo. He's set to at least get $20 million. If Danny Jacobs is truly getting $15 million. He's set to make at least $20 million fighting Canelo. So he's going to make double that with Al, Al Heyman offering him from John Skipper in his own. The zone is putting up the money, and after this Canelo Triple G trilogy, I don't. I think the zone is gonna go out of business. I think the zone is gonna fold. It's gonna close down unless these two fights with Canelo and Danny Jacobs and a, a rumor Miller and, and, and AJ fight and, and a, a, a Canelo and Triple G fight can bring you know uh, three or four or five million subscribers or at least a million subscribers to keep them like okay we got hope. But if they don't bring at least a million subscribers, I think they need a whole lot more than a million subscribers coming in then I, I can see the zone not not going on but if they keep throwing money and i'm not getting a return and they just re rather be in the red for three or five years i don't see that happening you know this is the zone app not doing that good and they banking for canelo triple g3 male uh, aj and maybe miller aj and white and they bake it or white where they baking on canelo and danny they baking on all these fights to bring some type of return and i can see canelo heading over to espn but y'all know what it is good fellow sports tv i appreciate everybody for checking in don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow1Boxing. Get you 18% off their all-natural products, a natural toothpaste, deodorant, hair pomade, muscle relaxer rub, and much, much more. The website is in the description. Don't forget to use that promo code GoodFellow1Boxing. It's in the description as well. And get that 18% off. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, you can check out our Facebook group. If you want to reach out to the email, you can send me a question uh, or video request, and I turn I do the Q&A later on today. I'm still working on that. Uh, been a little bit under the weather. Struggle for me to do these videos in my throat, but... 
We work. You check out the Patreon, and hopefully, me, I get on the horn with Town and Cali. We can talk about Victor uh, Conti uploaded to the Patreon. It's only two dollars a month. Salute to all the brothers and sisters that check out the Patreon. In addition to that, you can make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description. You can just share, share the videos. Appreciate everybody that's still rocking with us. Keep sharing the videos. Keep spreading the word. We talk NBA, NFL, college sports, and much, much more. Check out the playlist. All categorize our content. One time for the one time we grinding. It's good fellow sports team.